wondered and welcome back to Morrowind. It has been quite some in 
land. When we reach the mouth of the Odai River, where it flows into the sea, we will change course and head towards Balmora. Balmora is another iconic settlement here on the island of Vardenfell. And from there, well, we'll just have to see. Now the keen-eyed among you might have noticed that Morrowind here is looking a little bit different than you might be used to. Morrowind, of course, is a very moddable game. In fact, it was the one that began that tradition with Elder Scrolls games. And I have installed here a Wabajack mod pack. A Wabajack mod pack that significantly overhauls the game. Now, some purists might object to this and take offense, but I think it's fun to see what Morrowind can look like and be like in 2024. It certainly does clean up pretty well, doesn't it? And the great thing about a Wabajack mod list is that it's very easy for even those with next to no modding experience to install. And so I will link the mod list down below in the video description. It's called the Open MW Enhanced Mod List, and it's based on the open source rewrite of the Morrowind engine called Open MW which runs much better on modern systems. We have come across a most unfortunate wizard here. This is Tariel. And Tariel, unfortunately, flew a little too close to the sun. He came falling out of the sky after a spellcrafting mishap. We will leave him to rest in peace. sound off to the right. That is the sound of a Kwama forager. A Kwama forager. The Kwama are an insectoid species native to Morrowind. And they have numerous life stages and forms. The forager is one of the younger life stages following on from the harmless scrib. The Kwama Forager, however, can be aggressive. 
though we needn't worry about that here today, or tonight, as I ought to say. The denizens of Morrowind won't bother us on our relaxing wander. ourselves at the Odai River, the Odai River. As I mentioned, if we were to continue heading this direction, we would eventually find ourselves in the swamp villages of La Oad and Narmok, but instead we will cross this rickety bridge and then head inland. This 
this jellyfish-like creature over here, despite its intimidating look, is actually quite docile. It's known as a netch. A netch. And they are farmed by Dunmer, that is the Dark Elves, for their leather and their jelly. But Wild Netch also roam the Bitter Coast and the Asadian Isles regions of Morrowind. We've come across what looks to be a fairly lovely cascade, a beautiful series of waterfalls. Very picturesque. As we head inland up the Odai River, we leave the bitter coast behind and we enter the Asadian Isles, a region characterized by its temperate climate, amenable to farming. The vast majority of agriculture on Vardenfell occurs in this region. It's also well known for the distinctive parasol mushrooms that thrive in this landscape. Morrowind has many kinds of native fungus, but these parasol mushrooms might be the most iconic. Roadside camp up here. Hard to say who's camping there. It could be Quama Egg Miners. It does look like there's an egg mine right there. Or it could be bandits or brigands. Whoever they are, we shall leave them alone. Some of the mushrooms here grow very tall indeed. And past the mushrooms there, you might have caught a glimpse of a doorway into the cliff. That is the entrance to a Dunmer ancestral tomb. Ancestor worship is very important to the native dark elves of Morrowind, and their tombs dot the landscape. Families will return generation after generation to inter their past loved ones in the family.
family ancestral tombs. It's not much further to Balmora now, and as a matter of fact, as we round this bend in the Odai River, we can see Silt Strider. This is one of the main means of transport to and from Balmora. We saw a similar one in Sedanin. Passengers ride within the carapace of these great beasts. And now we're at the gates of Balmora, and it is a foggy night indeed. But the warm glow of lanterns and torches from within the town is a welcoming sight after journeying through the night. Listen carefully. You can hear the flickering sounds of moth wings as they dance about the lanterns here. is extremely thick. This is actually uh, a mod that adds this kind of fog. The original game is quite foggy, but it is a way of limiting the view distance in the vanilla game so that this fog adds dynamic 
volumetric clouds, which you can see dancing across the sky, as well as dynamic mist and fog, which, when combined with these beautiful glowing lights and torches, makes for a very atmospheric nighttime indeed. this lady is doing here in the back alley with her lantern oh and all that cloudiness and fog was a precursor to rain the downpour, it would seem, and wind as well. Look at the banner across the way, whipping in the wind. As the rain comes down, it leaves countless ripples on the surface of the Odai River. One of my enduring memories of Morrowind. Oh my goodness. Looks like we've got some thunder, lightning and thunder here as well. One of my enduring memories of Morrowind is watching the ripples on the water in the rain. It was the first game I ever saw that had water shaders that did rain ripples like that. These ripples and this water shader are of course enhanced with mods, but they're in the spirit of what I remember. Now you know it's getting pretty stormy out here. I was originally thinking that we might head, head from here over to Caldera, but maybe, maybe we'd be better off finding shelter somewhere. Why don't we head across the river? place I know called the South Wall Corner Club. The South Wall Corner Club. The clientele there are a little bit suspicious, but generally good folks. And that thunder is really not that relaxing, so it would be good to find some shelter. Somewhere out of the rain. Can we get through this way? The south wall is so named because it is located near the south wall of Belmore. Let's head on inside, shall we? As I mentioned, 
some of the clientele are a wee bit suspicious here, but nevertheless, I think that this is a fine place for us to grab a drink and wait out this storm. indeed, isn't it? With a candlelit bar and all kinds of interesting clientele. Well, friends, I think this is as good a place as any for us to end our wander here today. I'm sure we can get a fine local drink here, perhaps some sujama or maste, and it looks like there are some instruments in the corner, perhaps we'll even get some live music a bit later on, wouldn't that be nice? But in the meantime, friends, I will wish you a good night, and thank you very much for joining me on today's Wander. It is always a pleasure to have you along, and I hope you enjoyed visiting Morrowind with me. Farewell for now, my friend. Jake Lofney, 
here. 